comes Nancy Clark. So. Okay. okay, Fran, you're all set to begin. Great, thank you. I'm going to open the Town of Barnstable Historical Commission meeting of uh, Tuesday, January 20th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Um, first order of business is a call to order roll call. Nancy Shoemaker. Nancy. Here. Here. I'm here. Nancy Clark. Here. Uh, Cheryl Powell. Cheryl Powell. And I'm here. Jack K. And Barbara. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Um, notice of recording. Please note that this meeting is recorded and broadcast on Channel 18 in accordance with Mass General Chap Law, Chapter 30A, Section 20. I must inquire whether anyone is taping the meeting and to please make their presence known. <clears throat> Acting under the provisions of the Code of Barnstable, subsection 112-1 through 112-7, the Historical Commission will hold a public hearing on the following applications. The following applications have been determined significant and referred to a public hearing. Our first application is um, Pamela and Christopher Welch, 340 Sepuit Road, Osterville, Massachusetts. Hi, you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, thank Sorry you. Sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, there we go. My husband's here somewhere on another one. I'm here as well. <laughs> oh, okay. So whoever wants to start, please go ahead. I will defer to my wife. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what I, I should say. What, what we're proposing to do is put in a new kitchen um, space uh, on our property in Osterville. And it's in the existing footprint right there in the yellow. Um, it uh, it is not part of the antique part of the house. The antique part of the house in the picture right there is to the right there is the left where that door is. Um, so we're trying to do where that low ceiling is. It's almost like a shed ceiling uh, to add a gabled uh, roof line. One floor, same footprint to that space. So is this a view from the street or? Yes. Yes, okay. So. It would help if you could uh, talk us through with each of these images so we know what we're looking at. Uh, Mr. Pam? Welch, Mrs. Welch. Pam, can you hear us? Yes. I don't think she, she I think she's frozen. Anyway, I guess I can do it. Uh, <laughs> I live there too, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that uh, would be the back of the house. Uh, on the left-hand side in that image, you see the one roof going up. Uh, that's the antique portion. It's apparently it, it we're here because it shares a wall with what in the in the, in the interim section there uh, is what used to be I think a breezeway. They built two houses and connected them, and so this this project is just uh, to give us a uh, <laughs> a working kitchen <laughs> and. Uh, that's uh, those would be two doors there going to the backyard and one window. And again, it's in the same footprint. We're not enlarging anything uh, footprint wise. So that's the that's the picture in the, that I'm seeing on the computer uh, in the center. OK, now that would be from the street side. Uh, the windows match the historical uh, type of window that we actually, sadly, about four years ago, had a fire in the historical section. And 
uh, it literally, it, it, it's been about six months since it got rebuilt. It took that long because of COVID and getting doors and windows. So that, that, uh, the 1700 section is all completed. Uh, and so while we were there, we thought, well, it's put in a kitchen. Um, and so that it, it, you could see it's, it's actually two different buildings. And I, I think it was first a breezeway that was there originally. And you could see from the, um, somewhere in the filing are the pre, the existing photographs, which just show this low, not particularly, uh, uh, tra there you go, <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's the kitchen. Uh, and so uh, this will just um, be a little bit, uh, it'll be a little higher ceiling and you know, just Frank would be a lot nicer. Uh, but I've been living here for 50 years and this is the first construction uh, really we've done. Um, so yeah, I was here. Yeah, I've been here since I was 15 years old. I'm back in the Alpha I to dial up. Hmm. I'm I'm getting. I'm hearing some voice. Sam, I would suggest you turn your camera off. It will boost your audio. Um, and not use this. Okay. Much. There you go. That's much better. Sorry. Much better. Thank you. Stop it. Yeah. No, it's it's going. It's like um, it's a lot of feedback on it. Oh. <laughs> um. So if you, I mean, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yes, we I, can. My Sorry, wife goes, it lost. I lost cell services. Sometimes, if you turn the Bluetooth off around you, it will clarify it. I don't have Bluetooth on it right now. Oh, there you go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, in the court system, we got used to Zoom, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's an interesting house. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, those, yeah, it was basically across time it started with the main house there on the left hand side being barged from Falmouth which is amazing to me you put a house on a barge and then roll it up on a hill on logs I think and that's that's the antique but then over years people who own the house um again I've been here about 50 years um would build on section and section and i think the manner in which it happened was the second house got built on the right and then uh the other section on the left is a big living room and you can't see it in that picture but there's a bedroom off of that i'm not sure I, which owner did that um and then you see the kitchen in the center which obviously it's a 1950s thing it, it just kind of got put in there I think what happened was the original the owner of the sessions who we bought it from actually my parents did and then I had a third party buy it from my mother so my siblings would be happy that <laughs> I didn't uh, have any undue influence but uh, the uh, the sessions would um, in the farthest house to the right live there in the winter because none of the house was winterized um, you know, and the new design is trying to mimic that far yeah. gabled end as well. If that yes, that's what we're trying to. Oh, there you are. Incorporate. Yes, yeah. please go ahead, dear. <laughs> you know much more about the design and the architecture than I do. Well, the, it was just you know we, uh, the reason why we chose our architect Allison from A three is she does a lot of historical work on six A, so we weren't looking for anything crazy. We obviously love the antique part of this house and would never compromise it. Um, but we needed something a little more current. And, it, and the problem is you stand in that kitchen with the shed roof as it is now. And this, uh, I'm a gardener, we have beautiful gardens. And looking outside, the window to the back existing is five feet tall, so you can't even look outside. So that this was our plan to just open up and, and, we, and we, the kitchen is original to when it was first built 
<laughs> so, oh, yeah, it's a 1950s kitchen for sure. Yeah. It's, it could be in better shape. Can I ask a question, Fran? Sure. So the only part of the house, the 1770, 1700s section of the house that will be demolished will be part of that wall right now that we're seeing uh, no over to the right that the part that's over to the right is not going to be demolished. No. A portion no. that we don't see in that picture. Yeah, we're not touching the antique portion of the house. Well, you are. If it's just the one bathroom is a, is yeah. a is a renovation, not a demolition. The only part from the exterior that on the antique part where it, that it shows a window now is a, actually going to be a small window. Yes, right there is going to be the same kind of square window as a, up above in the antique part to mimic that. Okay, good. Uh, may a uh, question, please? Yes. Um, it's, it's a little unclear to me if the roof line is going to be parallel to the old section of the house. Um, let me look at the. No, it's going to be shorter. Okay. That's a good. This picture is probably the best of it, where because this is only a one story, and the old part is a two story. I see. Okay, thank you. Could we see the screen that shows the roof lines, please? I want to see how they tie together. Do you want to for the new for the new design? Uh, yes, I want to see the top as as, as though you were looking okay, down from a helicopter. Oh, an overhead. Yep, that's what I meant by a roof line. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. There, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. So that roof line would also, in the kitchen where it shows that gabled side, what it doesn't show mm -hmm. to the left of the antique side is also a gable going in the same direction. Okay. But uh, are you taking out a window in the antique house to get this cable? That's what I'm trying to determine. It doesn't look like it. No. Okay. No, because it's sitting in the same footprint. We're just going to change in, in the antique part a old double hung that isn't antique to a square that is the same as um, in the antique part. Okay, the other question that I had was the windows that you're putting into this um, were, what, six panes? Yes. Instead of, uh, I think it was 12 over 12 we in the antique 12 park. over 12. Mm -hmm. the, 12 Is there 12, a... the reason we're not, but actually, oddly enough, the 12 over 12s that we have in the antique part, we, we actually had to just redo this. I don't know if my... My husband said this. We had a fire three years ago. He did say fire. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the 12 over 12, as were the originals, are really large windows. And we just didn't want to go that big. Keeping within okay. the structure that we have.
Any other questions? No. Has anybody here from the public, Fred, do you know? Um, is there any public comment? Uh, Kara, I do not see anyone raising their hand. Okay, thank you. thank you. I'll accept a motion to close the hearing. I so move, Nancy I'll Clark. Second, I'll second it, Nancy Shoemaker. Uh, Marilyn? Marilyn? Oh, that, no. Hi. Hi. Um, Cheryl? Cheryl? You're on mute too. She shouldn't be now. Cheryl, I, I. I said I said it twice. Yes, I'm fine with that. Okay. Thank you. Um, Jack K. Jack's not here. Ooh. Barbara. Aye. And I vote aye. And Nancy Shoemaker aye. And Nancy Thank Clark aye. Okay. So, is there any, any further discussion or does someone want to do the motions? Uh, I'd be happy to do the motions. Thank you. Um, this, is, this motion is for the property of Pamela and Christopher Welch, 340 Seapruitt Road in Osterville. <clears throat> Excuse me. Map 095, parcel 010, built 1700 for the uh, a partial demolition, a kitchen renovation with existing footprint, gutting kitchen and changing the roof line. Uh, motion one, a move, I move after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials, the significant building at 340 Sepulet Road, Osterville is a preferably preserved significant building. And I will impose an 18 month delay and they will not impose an 18 month delay. I will second that. You need a second for it. Yes, <clears throat> thank you. So roll call vote, Nancy Shoemaker. Uh, uh, we're, which, okay, uh, nay. Nay. Marilyn Fifield. Nay. Cheryl Powell. Nay. Nancy Clark. Nay. Barbara. I'm a nay. And Fran, I vote nay. Uh, so, bottom of the page. Okay, I see it. If motion one fails and nay vote, I move that in accordance with section 112-3F, the Bonstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 340 Sepulet Road, Osterville is not detrimental to the historical cultural and architectural heritage or resources of the town. Second. Second did it. All right. And I vote determines that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental, no demolition delay imposed. Roll call. Nancy Shoemaker. Aye. Marilyn Fifield. Aye. Cheryl Powell. Aye. Nancy Clark. Aye. Barbara DeBiasey. I'm an I. Fran Park's I. Thank you very much. Good luck with your project. Yeah. Thank you for your time. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to have an oven that works. <laughs> <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> I know. I've been I've been grilling for three years. <laughs> you might regret that 1950s look though someday. If they don't come back. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. Time. Everything does. Yep. God bless. Thank you very Thank much, you uh, members welcome. of the board. Okay. Next is Ville Saint, Kevin and Corey, 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills, Map 101, Partial 121, Built 1800, Partial Demolition, Accessory Dwelling, Guest House Demo, Rebuild Portion of the Existing Guest House, Remodel and Restore What Was Originally the Barn. Um, Hi. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Jean Bowden, and I'm here again for uh, Matt York and the owners, uh, Kevin and Corey Vosant. We had done the main house, 
before, and this is the guest house that, um, you know, it's been there quite a while. You can tell from the history, I kind of did all that research and there was a lot of information in your file. And they want to restore, of course, the original old barn, which was now turned into the guest house, the larger part, and remove and, re and redo the, um, that long section, which is, it's kind of like an addition that's, you can see it in that picture there. So this part here will be redone, you know, or restored with the, you know, and this part they're going to rebuild, which I think it kind of needs it, but, uh, you know, and the plans, this is the front elevation. And of course we've got the right, and then the other page shows the rear. So this part here is, is what we're going to put a little foundation under and we're going to remodel it. We're not going to do anything with the horse barn or the cow barn that was there and turned into a guest house. It has quite the history of the camp, the two camps, the farm. And I, you know, I think it's going to be much nicer, but it still has that nice old section on it. So uh, the floor plan is actually going to be improved inside, and they're going to eliminate one bedroom. It looks like the old floor plan had, you know, three bedrooms, and now it's, well, it had actually four, and they're going to have two. I guess they're going to have, they're going to have a porch, a master bedroom, and another bedroom. So it'll be a two-bedroom versus a three-bedroom guest house, used only for her guests. No renting it out or anything as far as hopefully I gave you enough information. So the, the one story section was built in roughly what time period? I think like in the it's really hard. I think in the 50s, um because I have the narrative from historic and seems to point to it was built like in the 50s, and it's not 75 years old. The other part is definitely the original barn that was there way back. And there's some, at first it wasn't mentioned at all, and then it started to show up in narratives and history. So that was this part. And then I think this was built that for like use in the, in the camp, there's a bunkhouse, and they started to use it as a camp. I think that's where people, the kids slept in that section. Oh. And over the years, they made it into this nice guest house on the property. So the only section of the uh, older part around 1800 uh, that will be demolished to change the newer part uh, probably already was altered when they put that on in the 1950s. Yes, it was. And probably not really the greatest way that it would be done today. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be really, I mean, they really want to make sure that's, they like that. So, and also they're putting the cupola back on that was there. That's been, there. you know, it's mentioned of a cupola back in the narrative that I have here uh, that came from the historic, um, historical narrative. It talks about the a shingle two-story building with a small cupola. And then it says the barn door was replaced by two French doors. And it said it had two major additions, the older one under a shed roof, the east end of the barn, and the newer one. So the newer one would be the, probably the 1950s, which we were going to be removing and rebuilding. And I, you have the pictures of what it looks like right now. Can we see a, a photo, uh, not a photo, a drawing of uh, what's proposed? The original, the big house? Um, showing really the, the barn on the other side, I guess, of, of the way the house is now. Um, I don't know. I know the pictures show it, but I don't know if that helps. I have the photograph that I put in that shows what it looks like now. Huh. I'm say, I'm gonna, um, that's the rear. I don't, must it's... Actually, if you put the picture up to your lens, that would be helpful. Oh, <laughs> all right here. I'm right, not gonna see my regular. See, there's. I thought that. It, see that. Can you switch over to her screen. 
things. I thought I, that's in there, but maybe it didn't get put in there. I printed it. I think it's attached. But you can see that bar, and then you see that long thing that's going to take. So that's the little, I'm calling it a barn, but it's now a house, of course. So that's more the picture. Yeah, there you go. There it is. That's that, those pictures I put in. Mm -hmm. Those were, were taken when they were set, some of them, when it was listed for sale and multiple listings. So they're quite current. Yeah. Be nice to see the Go sliders on. become a, a barn door. Yeah, nice, uh, mm -hmm. very nice uh, garden. And then this is the interior you can see is of that section, the old, the newer section, I guess it's got a canoe there. <laughs> oh. Naughty pine. But that's, you know, the one on the left there that shows the French doors they were talking about in that narrative. I mean, I think the new plan is going to improve everything, but still keep that nice section. And so it goes with the whole, what they're doing with the main house, too. Is that bottom left picture of the barn? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's one of the sections of the barn, I believe. Uh, don't, no. No? Actually, I'm very familiar with that barn. I went to summer camp there. Okay. Did you sleep in that barn? <laughs> no, nobody slept in that barn. It wasn't that addition wasn't there. It was just the barn. So just that, that just like the narrative says. Just the barn. It was owned by the fairs. Right, right. So can we go back to the uh, street view? It's right, the front elevation. Yeah. It's that one, yes. So is that the proposed door for the new yeah, addition? I, I believe so. Uh, but that's what, you know, again, that's in that, the redoing that section. So I'm, I don't know if it had any window specs. Sometimes these doors look better in person than they do when they're drawn like that. It's sort of a craftsman door. Craftsman? I think that's what they call it, that look. It doesn't seem to fit the, the yeah. pyramid at all. Mm. It really yeah. looks out of place. Yes, it does. I don't think the door does, but the pediment above the door does. Yeah. <laughs> So, any other questions for the applicants? Any public comment? Chair, I don't see anyone raising their hand at this time. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll accept a motion, motion to close the public hearing. I'll uh, move that we close the hearing. I, I second, second that, Nancy Clark. <laughs> Um, Nancy Shoemaker? Aye. Nancy, Marilyn Fifield? Aye. Cheryl Powell? Cheryl? I don't think you're hearing me very well. I said aye. Uh, Jack Kay? Not Jack. Uh, Barbara? Aye. And Nancy Clark? Aye. Thank you. Okay. So. Any uh, further comments the committee wishes to make? Is there room to wiggle on, on that doorway, the entranceway? Um, I could suggest that. I think it kind of comes out a little in the front. If you look at the floor plan, I don't think it's flat. I think the picture doesn't really show exactly, you know, I mean, I could, you're talking about the thing above the door? Yeah. Yes. More than the door itself? Well, I'm trying to I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at the um, the front L. Well, it's like this uh, the proposed. No, well, that's the existing. But I'm trying to I'm looking at trying to I have a framing plan here. I'm trying to see if it shows it looked a little better. Say on. Uh, all right. So if you look at A three dash one. I don't know if you could. You have wait a minute. That's the little cap. I don't know if you could see it there. 
What's on the screen shows it for um, it goes, oh, if you look at for progress, it says A3-1. Yeah. If you go down, it's just a, see this floor plan? That shows it kind of jutting out a little. Wait, that one, maybe A3-1. Is that it? And that's the roof thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it does show it kind of coming forward a little. Mm -hmm. So maybe that would look so much better than just the way it shows on that first flat plane. It goes that goes into the living room area and the new thing here. See, whoops, see that little where it's right there going in the living room? That's probably what we're looking at. It actually isn't flat against the house, so it's like a little entrance way almost. See if we can find up one A3 dash one, uh, one more up. Yeah, no, we we have seen it. Okay, you've seen that. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I mean, that probably, if you saw the, it just doesn't show it looking way. I think it would be nice because it's coming out a little. It's not like up against the house like that. That's like a little roof and has little sides on it. I think it's a little um, ostentatious for the barn myself. Um, you know, it sort of really sticks out as, as a, uh, not appropriate for a barn structure or something connected to a barn structure. Does anyone else? Yeah, I can talk to them about it. Ostentatious is a good word for it. <laughs> Maybe simple post instead of column-like support. <clears throat> I forget there's a name, is that, you know, they call that a, it's not a further look, but. And maybe a shed roof instead of what's there. Of that the point the uh, pointy one. Well, I could you know go back and talk to them about. I mean, the re if you're happy with the rest of it, I can you know I can say to them maybe you could put like something that says subject to. I don't know how you handle it when there's a change like that because they they want to get going on the project, which at the same. Do we time, want a continuance? It would um, be a revised plan. I if think you need. Go ahead, Nancy. Go ahead. Is that what you if suggest? If you need to consult with your clients, I would think a continuance would be appropriate. I can't, I mean, I could try texting them if you'd like. I mean, and just see what they say. I think another way of doing this is uh, when we give the motion uh, with the, uh, the desire by the commission to have that, uh, that entrance be- uh, oh, I would probably do that- possibly a shed roof. I would say that would be better than a continuance, but I, I don't really know what the norm is on that. I know I, I do mostly the OP highway thing. People not, I, mean, I have to make a suggestion. Uh, why not? You said you could text them. We still have uh, another applicant after you. Shall we just uh, go ahead onto that next applicant and then come back to you? That gives you time to see if you can. Well, I can see if I can get a hold of him I can, and then we can come back to it. That's, that's fine. I don't mind waiting. So can I suggest that we go on to the next application? Yeah, what is the, um, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, <laughs> I got nothing else to do. <laughs> I like it. I like to see Erica. <laughs> How do people feel about that? Were you good with that suggestion? That's fine. Yep. Yeah, that way we can settle it. I mean, he could maybe have a chance to, the only thing is they have to get the, you know, they have to get hold of the, usually the architects will, do whatever the homeowner and the builder say to make it right. So, so I'd like to make a make a suggestion that we could go on to the next applicant to give this individual okay. time to That's fine. If nobody has and I can um, put you on mute and then I could go in the other room and call and it won't but you won't be bothered by it. Works for me. It, we have to vote on that though, right? Um, we do have to vote on it. And right, when you talk to your client, Jean, it would be well if you ask them to change it to a shed roof. All right, let me write that down. A shed roof instead. Mm -hmm. And a different, do you do you like the style of the door? Yeah. I With do. a shed roof. Okay, it's mostly that roof thing that you don't it's, like. Mm -hmm. Ostentatious, I like that word. <laughs> I don't think we have to vote to just give her time while we go on to the next applicant and then come back. That's something we only have to vote. Yeah, what's, what time is it? I don't think the next applicant is, I, I don't, I have my thing here. 
Okay, I will move that we put this on hold until we have finished with the next okay. applicant. That's fine. I don't want to hold. Do I have off. a? I will second Bye. that. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you. We need to vote on it, which Fran oh. will have to do. Hi, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so, so we we're to uh, we voting to suspend the uh, the hearing. Not to suspend. Well, to to uh, delay and put them off until after the next applicant is yeah to and voted on. Yeah, I think that would be a suspension for that period of time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So has it been seconded? Yes. Okay. I second. Yeah. So, roll call. Um, Nancy Shoemaker. Aye. Marilyn. Aye. Cheryl Powell. Say aye, but I don't think you, you need to suspend it, but that's okay. Nancy Clark. Aye. And Barbara DeBiase. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next is um, Beth and David Johnson, 5 Putnam Avenue, Katuit, map 036. Parcel 034, built 1852. Partial demolition, construct two-story addition for garage family room with connection to existing house. This will cover two existing windows and the existing bulkhead. And who's here for uh, the Johnsons? I'm Steve Devlin here, uh, Central Cape Construction, designer I... and builder for uh, both for the addition. Uh, the, the 1852 part of the house is the front main box. You can see in the, the front elevation picture. The area that we're abutting is uh, was built in 1986 on the town records. So it's it's that part we're touching. We're not touching any of the 1852 section. We are abutting onto the 1986 addition and uh, just covering two windows, the far window on the left on that gable picture. Yep. And, um, and around the corner right there, another window and a bulkhead. That, that, and that's it. Uh, we have a one car uh, garage on the bottom and a just a recreational room on the second floor with a small deck and pergola around the back of the house. We're going to match roofing, siding, trim. And, and actually the windows, we're, we're using some of the existing windows, the six over one, and uh, we're buying other windows that match that. Uh, so it, basically it will match the existing home. Is it difficult to to see and to understand? Okay, ask me anything. Is there anything that shows? I didn't see anything that showed, but maybe it's there. That shows what is there currently compared with what will be there. The photos. Well, the photos show us. Yeah, What's there, there? There you have them together on a sheet so we can see what is there and what will be there from two, at least two sides. Is there, I'm just asking if there is such a thing in your preparation. Uh, there, I, I did as built drawings. Well, those are in the kit here. They're, um, towards the end e1 e2 e3 it just that was for the fire department to get all the smoke de detectors located but we're, we're really just adjoining to about 10 feet of the existing 1986 edition yes so the 1986 edition is indeed part of the history of any house yeah if it existed then so that makes it part of the historic but i i still haven't seen is it what i'm seeing on the screen is not showing Oh, I see. You're trying to put the little picture over here, and okay. All right. We're so our, just, our 
or well, somebody covering is... that one window on the far left. That's it on that on that elevation. Okay, but it looks to me as though. Could you put that picture set up again, please? Okay, you're building the height up almost to the peak of the current house for something that you're adding on. Is that correct? In other yes. words, I'm concerned with the massing. Yeah, yes, but we are lower than the main house. Yes, you are lower, but it's it's close. Mm -hmm. And the square footage that you're adding compared to what the house is currently? We're adding, I don't know, less than 10%, I would say, of the, of the living space. The first floor is just, I mean, the base, basement is just a garage. So the only- It still counts as square living footage. Living space is the second floor. No, but the square footage still counts because somebody 10 years down the road may want to turn the garage into living space. Yeah. So it still counts as square footage. I'm not, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just want to know what the square footage is. The two floors at 672. Thank you. And the house is... <clears throat> I'm trying to find it on the on the town record. Okay. Um, I have a question. It's about, how, how oh, sorry, it's about it's about it's about um, twenty five hundred upper story, half story, first floor. Thank you very much. Yep. How far away is the addition from the uh, lot line? It, it's 15 and a half. It's, it, it's inside the setback by about half a foot. Any other uh, commissioners' comments, questions? Any public comment? At this time, Chair, I do not see anyone raising their hand. Somebody did raise their hand. Oh, somebody did? I, yeah. I'm just going to say I'm I'm a director butter, and I'm very much in favor of this. Thank you. Thanks, Margie. Um, motion to close the public hearing. I move that we close the public hearing. Nancy Shoemaker. Uh, second. Nancy Clark. Nancy Clark. Um, okay. Uh, Cheryl Powell. Can't hear Cheryl. Um, I did say aye. Marilyn Fifield. Aye. Nancy Shoemaker. Aye. Nancy Clark. Aye. Barbara DeViasi. Aye. And Fran Parks. Aye. Oh, um, with no other comments, would someone like to do the motions? I will, if you want. If no other comments, Why do I move, uh, this is for, um, wait a minute, where am I now? I'm on the wrong sheet. Bottom Forgive me. Bottom of the page. Here we go. Um, Beth and David Johnson, 5 Putnam Avenue, Katuit, map 036, parcel 034, built 1852. Partial demolition, construct two-story addition for garage family room with connection to existing house corner. This will cover two existing windows and existing bulkhead. Motion one, I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials, the significant building at 5 Putnam Avenue could to it is a preferably preserved significant building. Second that. An I vote will impose an 18 month delay. A nay vote will not impose an 18 month delay. Nancy Shoemaker. Nay. Marilyn Fifield. Nay. Cheryl Powell. Cheryl? I said nay. Thank you. Nancy Clark. Nay. Uh, Barbara. Nay. 
Ram Park Snay. All right. Um, I move that in accordance with section 112-3F, the Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the <laughs> demolition of the building located at 5 Putnam Avenue, Contuit, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. I'll second that. Thank you. Nancy Shoemaker. Oh, and I vote determines right. that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental. No demolition, demolition delay is imposed. Nancy Shoemaker. Aye. Marilyn Fifield. Aye. Cheryl Powell. Aye. Nancy Clark. Aye. Barbara. Aye. Bram Parks, aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're all set. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Go back to um, 358 Flint Street. Yes. Hi, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, I talked to Matt York and he said that they would put a shed shed roof six pitch and take out that other thing that's on the plan. It's like, I think it's gonna look better myself. So he yeah. does so. Great. Okay. Was there a question on the door? I think, I, I think we needed to um, open the public meeting again. And we open up the public hearing for uh, 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills, map 101, parcel 121, built 1800. Thank you. I'll second, second. I'll second that. Okay. Roll call. Nancy Shoemaker. Aye. Marilyn Fifield. Aye. Cheryl Powell. Aye. Nancy, Nancy Clark. Aye. Barbara? Aye. Grand Park's aye. Can everybody, yeah. Oh. So um, could you repeat that again? They're gonna- Yes, um, I just spoke to the, uh, York Building Remodeling, Matthew York, and he is going to do a shed dormer six pitch to to make it look a ni much nicer. And he agreed that that would be nicer too. Great, thank you. Nancy, do you have any other um, comments? Nancy Clark? No, as long as that is read into it when we do the motions, it'd be fine with me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. So, again, I will accept a motion to close the public hearing. So moved, Nancy Clark. Second, second. Nancy Shoemaker. Thank you. Um, Nancy Shoemaker? Aye. Aye. Marilyn Fifield? Aye. George Jessup. I'm sorry, George is not here. Cheryl Powell. Aye. Nancy Clark. Aye. Barbara. Aye. And Fran Parks. Aye. Okay. Would. Uh... I'll start the motions. Nancy. Oh, great. Thank you. I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials of the public testimony, the application and associated materials, the significant building at 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills is a preferably preserved significant building. I'll second that. An I vote will impose an 18 month delay. Nay vote will not impose an 18 month delay. Nancy Shoemaker. Nay. Marilyn Fifield. Nay. George Jessup. No, I'm sorry, Nay. Cheryl Powell. Nancy Cheryl. Clark. I did say nay. I don't know what's wrong. If somehow or other I'm not coming through, but if I shout any louder, I'm going to scare some people here. <laughs> Bram Parks, uh, nay. Barbara? Nay. Nay. Okay. Okay. Uh, I move that in accordance with section 112-3F, 
The Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. And I should add, I can possibly add there, uh, with the addition of the shed roof over the door to the addition. The fixed pitch, I believe. Six pitch. I'll second that. Did people hear me? I'll second that. Yes. Okay. My vote determines that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental and no demolition delay is imposed. Um, Nancy Shoemaker? Aye. Marilyn Fifield? Aye. George um, Cheryl Powell? Aye. Nancy Clark? Aye. Grand Parks, aye. Barbara? Aye. Great. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice rest of the night. Thank you. Okay. Is there any um, community preservation updates, Marilyn? Oh, no, our meeting uh, last month was canceled and this month's meeting is next week. So oh, we're sort right. of between. Um, any upcoming historical events? I have three. Oh. There's right here. <laughs> okay. Um, yep. First of all, just to warn you, not warn you, hopefully uh, make you delight in the future that we are working on, and this is the Cape and Islands Historical Association, uh, a book of the uh, uh, highlighting and, and adding details that maybe have not been brought forth before of the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody is interested in uh, adding a, a piece of information, uh, a, a, a written article, um, please let me know. So again, this is going to be coming along in 2026, but we're working, starting to really work on this to, to pull together a nice looking publication. Nice, not just nice looking, but informative. This is dealing just with the revolution? Yes, American Revolution. On the Cape, there are interesting things. Like I probably mentioned to you last month, how we just discovered Lemuel Snow, who was from West Barnstable, stayed here till he was, I think, fifty-eight. But then when he moved away, he wasn't put on the books as as being an, an incredible warrior for many, many years. Worked with George Washington. Anyway, I'm sure I told you that already. Yeah. Um, June twenty-fourth. Uh, in the evening, there's going to be a celebration of Protect Our Past, which is a Cape-wide organization that is interested in encouraging people, I think you guys might appreciate this, uh, to preserve their homes as much as possible and preserve their settings. So again, if, if you want to go to this, it's a fundraiser that's going to be held in Barnstable Village. It's June 24th from 5 to 8, and if you go to Protect Our Past website, you will see where you can sign in and find out about it. Uh, also, the uh, Weldon Memorial Library in West Barnstable on July 1st is going to have a lecture on the Otis family of West Barnstable and of Barnstable, town of Barnstable, Cape Cod, even our nation, as, as they were very much involved in are revolting against King George III. That's at 2 p.m. again at Weldon. And after the lecture, which I'm giving just to warn you, um, we're gonna be walking by the graveyard where many of the Weldon family members are buried and over to the house where the owner, not the house, I should not say that, to the site. It's the site of, it's land that's across from the post office in West Barnstable. It is not only a, a new house, the house before that burned down and the Otis house burned down. We do have one balustrade from a stairway, but that's about all we have of the real house. But it's nice that the owner is inviting us over there to the site uh, to get a feel for where the family lived. What about Independence Singer? Did you think of teaming up maybe with the DAR and the SAR? 
Um, I think that I'm I'm not the one organizing it, but I will make sure they know about that. Yeah, thank you. Those sound like great events. Thank you. So the approval of minutes, we have May 16th, 2023, and then an, an amended approval for February 21st, 2023. Um, and I'm not sure what that means, the amended approval. I've read it. And, uh, um, well, do you want to do the May 16th first, and then I'll be happy to comment on the uh, amended? Well, there were two other two other uh, um, minutes that you were that you <laughs> wanted to go over. Um, August sixteenth and uh, September twentieth. Did you review those? Yes, I did it several times, but uh, I think the things don't need to be verbatim <laughs> at times. Obviously, you would you would have reviewed them as well. Uh, so no, I'm, I'm going to let those go so we can do those as well. But they are not on the they are not on the agenda. I see. So perhaps on the next agenda. But might I suggest we do the May 16th first? On if you want me to clarify for the uh, approved the amended for February, I'll be happy to do so. Okay. Um, well, so you'll have to take care of those minutes at the next meeting because you asked for the delay last I, time. I did. And I, well, things change. Um, so have people had a chance to read the minutes? Everyone? I have not. And I didn't read them thoroughly. Okay. Um, Jess, we also well. put those over to the next meeting then on continue. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Cheryl. Can I then suggest that, that uh, we move those over to the next mm -hmm. reading? If, since it, uh, it seems that two of the members have expressed basically a desire oh. to have a chance to read them. I just wanted to make a comment about that. Um, I think everybody needs to read it. It's. Um, It's not a, it, it, the request was for verbatim uh, statements to be in the in the meeting, and it's not verbatim, and it's also I think overly long. And um, you're jumping uh, out of the May 16th proposal and jumping to just to clarify for everyone, you're jumping to the amend approved, I believe. So I I'm still having problems hearing you. So no, am I. Okay. Are, were we were on the May 16th minutes. You haven't finished with that? No, I haven't. I was going to. Was a motion made to approve the May 16th minutes? No. 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 Okay. So we're going to stick with this for right now. Thank you. So, um, Nancy, did you have a chance to read the, the discussion about the recusal? Uh, yes, that, I did. That was amended. To the minutes. I've yes, never I seen minutes. Go ahead. Nothing more. Oh, I've just never seen minutes that were amended. Uh, you know, um, several months after they were were approved. So they were um, last, last month, or um, March, I believe, or one or two months ago. Not months, months. The the way it was in is because there was a motion, and you it was sent uh, to staff to be forwarded showing that the motion was made on the condition that it be minuted. And I thought for some reason they would be in the March minutes, but because we are often 10 to 12 months behind on our minutes, sometimes one forgets exactly which month it was. So since the motion was made and seconded, by the way, by Nancy Clark, I would like those minuted so that they, because that, that was the condition for the, for the motion. And it's just very simple that it's minuted. It's taken out of the guidelines, but it was would be minuted that that was. Well, I think it's not. I, re, I believe the request was for a verbatim, and it's not verbatim. Um, but uh, I'll let that stand. If um, thank you. Uh, minutes no seldom are. If minutes were verbatim, if minutes were verbatim, 
they filled 25 pages instead of two. That's why the right, right. motion said that I wanted it even take the whole thing out as long as it is limited. You seconded that. Just so there's a record. We have already found that there are difficulties if we don't have records. So I want the records to, sometimes they just need to be accurate. Please. Okay. So um, make a motion to um, review those minutes at the next meeting. In I'm happy to do that, or we could just simply uh, amend them now, but we can review them if you wish, if that's your... your well, I'll make a well, motion that we, uh, that we looked over the minutes, all those minutes that we're concerned about again, so we're more prepared during the next meeting. Thank you. I'll second that. Are we also, does that include the May 16th, or are we just talking about the one on the amended? That includes both of them. Thank you. I just wanted And to the other is what date, please? May 16th. And the other? February. 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 Thank you. Okay. All those in favor of um, uh, holding these minutes till the next meeting, say, say aye. 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 Nice. Well, okay, thank you. Um, I wanted to make a couple other comments. Um, I uh, there was a discussion about um, the uh, um, preservation project award and services, and uh, that um, the ethics information um, discuss, discussing recusals on the website, and it's not on, on the town of Barnstable website. And there's actually even in the uh, um, state. Ethics is not recusal is not mentioned in that, um, but I wanted to say that once um, the um, the rewording of the um, criteria for the uh, preservation awards was not brought back, so we could have seen it rewarded and vote on it then. So that has not been voted on, um, and I think um, once that's done. Um, I think the criteria should be um, added to the uh, um, website so that it goes along with, um, pardon me, the forms, because um, the forms aren't um, terribly informative about what, what we're looking for. And uh, the uh, House one does say the um, Secretary of, of State, the Secretary of the Interior's website, but I don't think many people are going to be going to check that. So I think it would be easier if, if they could see the uh, the criteria that the committee is operating under. And uh, anything else? No. And the other thing is that um, we've had a request from the Katuit Historical Society um, stating that, um, as I was probably aware, the, a bottle was found at Point Isabella this past winter. It contained names and addresses of German POWs held at Camp Edwards during World War II. Oh, wow. It is, it is currently at the Northeast Democrat Document Conservation Center in Andover, and we've been trying to raise funds to follow through with their recommended cons conservation measures, plus some optional suggestions. I've been in touch with Ellen Swinarski about the possibility of applying for a CPC grant, and she is checking into the process. Apparently, it's a little unusual for them to requ requ request small as this as small as this project. Um, one thing that she uh, asked was that at some point we'll need to ask the Barnstable Historical Commission to determine whether this is a historically significant artifact before submitting an LOI. I see where you're chair of this fine committee. I would like to um, please tell me what will be involved with this and would it be possible to do this at your meeting in June. Um, just so you know, um, Point Isabella was my family's property. Isabella was my great-grandmother. And um, after the hurricane of 1944, um, some of the German soldiers that were um, PO Prince of Wars that were at Camp Everest were brought to Katuit to clean up after the hurricane. Um, mm -hmm. I also had a friend who, who were uh, quite older than I am, um, who remembered seeing them marching down Old Post Road to uh, get to Point Isabella. Um, so I think uh, um, if you could give this consideration and, as to uh, um, if you'd like to support their quest to, uh, that's as far as I know, 
the only thing that's been found about the German POWs in Katuit. Um, and she didn't say what the inside of the bottle said, but they were looking for some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to forward send this along to um, Aaron and um, Elizabeth, and um, there are no other discussion or comments. So I'll accept a motion to adjourn. Um, I think we still have matters not reasonably anticipated. I'm sorry. I think you still have matters not reasonably anticipated. Okay, matters not reasonably anticipated. Anything can under I, that? Can I just say about uh, Point Isabella? You know, I didn't know the details, and this is a, a fascinating, you know, sad in many ways, but interesting uh, piece of history. And I sure support anything we can do to to uh, keep these items in the public eye. I totally agree with that. And uh, I, I happen to, uh, along with my many other collections, I collect mail from the POWs there that were on Cape Cod at Camp Edwards. So it'd be very interesting to see this uh, preserved. Yeah. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, that can't, um, Point Isabella and the Whittier property was where Camp Can Do It was. Mm. And that was um, uh, the testing of launching boats, uh, landing boats for when mm -hmm. they went to the South Pacific. So right. they, they, they were there, they were at, in Osterville and they're on Washburn Island. And um, they frequently, from what I understand, it um, attacked uh, Washburn Island. Wow. Well, oh. Right. Oh. So, accept a motion to adjourn. That is oh. not reasonably anticipated by the chair, please. Uh, we just went through that, Cheryl. No, we did not. You went. Uh, just, uh, Nancy Shoemaker made a wonderful comment about it just going back, but we. Did not, uh, you mentioned it, but there is some, you asked if I had anything and I said yes. All right, what do you have? Okay, what I have is actually, Jessica, are you still with us? Yeah, I, it's, I did say a, a, e, uh, a text, I think it was by email with regard to the 106 meeting. Did we find out anything about that? No? Okay. No, I think no. Eric, you that it took place without, uh, I know you were informed last minute, but uh, I, I don't have any information about it. It's actually two thirds of the way done when we were informed. We were involved, Barnstable Historical uh, Commission was involved with the first one. I don't think we knew about the second one and then there was a third one. Uh, so uh, Erica, do you know when the next one is? Because when I mentioned it to you, you said that the file was large. So you tried to send it to us, but the file was large. Is that correct? Yes, it, they had slides to go along with their presentation and the file was too large for me to send. It would just send back to me. Um, so unfortunately, that's why the email did not go out. Um, they have not contacted about the next meeting just yet, but I have sent out an email to follow up with them. So as soon as I have any more information, I will send it to the Historical Commission. Could you Erica, can I just add that if you have, it's a, it was probably a PDF that you had that was large? It was a PowerPoint presentation. And even when I tried to open it on my end, it was corrupted and would not allow me to open it. Okay, I was gonna say if I could have helped in any way, but okay. Yeah, I'll see if they can send the slides in a PDF format to me, that way I can forward them along. Yeah, and if they're too large, I can reduce the size of it, and you'll still have those very readable um, pages of a PDF. Okay. I don't know about their skills, Nancy. <laughs> I might ask you for them sometime. Sure. Uh, the, uh, yes, because if we could be included in that, because I know historical was the, I don't, I, I wouldn't want them to think that we just turned our nose up at it and didn't just didn't want to appear. You know, can, if they could be informed that we we did not know about that meeting. Uh, of course, like, but it was like 40 minutes before it was over. Um, uh, but the and I don't think anyone else actually received that at the same time, did they? Because it was. No, like I said, that that email bounced back to me. So when when it bounced back, I didn't send to anyone, unfortunately. So that was my fault. And I'm sorry for uh, missing that. But if, if they could be if it, they could be told that there was some sort of communication problem. We did not, it's not that we're not interested. I don't feel that we should be there. Just of course. Courtesy, if we could somehow let them know we weren't 
just ignoring them. Yeah, I'll reach out to them. I'll let them know. Um, I had one other thing. Fran? Yes. Is this your last meeting? Yes. Oh. I wanted to thank you very much for your dedicated service to the history of the Barnstable community and to wish you well in your future endeavors. I would also like to wish you well in your future endeavors, uh, Fran. Yeah, Fran, you, you have such knowledge of our town, of your village. Um, I'm very sad to see you go. Thank you. I will say too, if I may, um, I think the commission is losing a valuable member. Um, and I am very um, upset uh, as to the genesis of your not reapplying. And uh, um, it's, it's unfortunate very unfortunate um and uh i have made my concerns uh known to parties uh with regard to your um your position so thank you fran for, for your service thank you jess thank, thank you a lot thank yeah. you um can we have a motion to adjourn i'll make that motion for adjournment i'll second, second that so moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. friend.